What's up everyone? Now you guys have seen some of my past shoes in the past videos and some of you have been asking to see them all. So here's my entire collection. It's nothing great. It used to be more. It's a lot less now. Try to get a little bit more of that money. But here we go. We got we have about 19 shoes to get through. So let's just get through them. We're gonna be quick, fast, and all that. Alright. So the first one. New Balance 2002 R's, nothing crazy, comfortable, nice dad shoe. It's really in fashion right now, so got these, it's whatever. All right, so now we've got my basketball shoes. These are the Curry 10 Sour Patch Kids. They're pretty nice, honestly. They kind of look a little free, but they're whatever. I like that patch right there, that's kind of dope. And that insole too, as mad. These are still dead stock, I haven't worn them yet. I bought them like two days ago. Planning on getting back into basketball, so hopefully these come in handy. Apparently the traction on these is really good, so yeah, can't wait to ball on these. So third we got the Yeezy 350, 350? I'm thinking of the freaking car. What is it? I think it's a 350, right? I used to wear these a lot, but then Kanye went and said some stuff. I, If you know me, you know that I used to be a big fan of Kanye, but he's gone and said some stuff, and I don't know if I can wear these a lot anymore. And plus, these are a size 12, and I'm a size 10 and a half. If you know me, you know the whole story. Just to make this story simple for you, if you don't know me, the reason I have sizes from 12 all the way to 10 and a half legit, like I have 12, 11 and a half, 11, 10 and a half. When I lost that weight from this video, I also lost a size and a half of my shoe. So yeah, that's why. But I don't know if I can wear these anymore. But they're still comfortable. Kanye, what have you done? All right, next up, we got some just Air Force Ones. They're beat, they're dirty, they're pretty gross. Nothing special. There you go. I have something planned for those Air Force Ones though. All right, next we got my ID Dunks. This is when you couldn't change the color of this part to that, I forgot the name of it. I was trying to go for like a Jordan 1 top three type of look, but they ended up just looking like bowling shoes. So I never wear these. Uh, they're cool, like the leather's really nice in them, but I don't know if I can ever wear these out again. They're probably just gonna sit there and like, oh, I made these type of thing. But yeah, probably never gonna wear these. All right, so next up we got these Dunks. I'll be honest, I completely forgot the name of them. I just saw these one day and they were just sitting there, so I just went and bought them. Apparently the resale on these is really good, I don't really look at resale prices for shoes. Apparently they're really good, and I just saw them sitting one day, I think someone returned them and I just bought them. But hey, they're pretty nice though. Alright, so next we got the Jordan 1 Breto Lowe's. Honestly, probably my favourite shoe out of the collection, I just love it. If you know me, you know I love red, and the Breto is my favourite Jordan 1 colorway. But I like it, nice, simple, casual shoe. If you're wondering why this one's empty, it's because I recently sold a shoe it was the uh, Mocha 1 Lowe's. I had them, but they're just too big on me, so I was like, screw it. So next we got these Jordan 1 Lowe's. I'll be honest, I don't know the name of these ones either. But they're nice, I love this color, and the suede as well. The suede's obviously not the best material. It's pretty rough, but like, it's all right. Just a nice beta shoe. They're cool in that. So next we got the shoe that started it all off. My entire sneakerhead thing. It's a Jordan 1 Mid Shattered Backboards. These, I got these probably, I like to say, three to four years ago. I remember when I first got these, I wore them everywhere. These were my only shoe. They are pretty beat. You can even see from the side here, there is some separation there. But the leather on, on this is really nice. So surprisingly for a mid, I think it's because it is the Shad Backboard 1 mid. These started it off. I haven't worn these in a while, but these are what started this all off. All right, another one of my favorites is the Jordan 1 Brotherhoods. The only reason why I really like these is because they're Laker colorways and I'm a Lakers fan. I know they're pretty rubbish right now. Honestly, the leather on these ones are also really nice. You can't really wear them with much. You can wear them with like an all black outfit, but they're cool. These are my beta sneaker. If you can see at the back there, pretty bad there. And even the toe box right there. But like, I like these. Surprisingly, they're pretty comfortable. So next up, we've got these Jordan ones. I forgot the name of them once again. But this was during the phase of the whole cutting the top part off and like wearing the high top as low top. I don't know why the hell you would do that. But these ones came so you do cut the top off. There's like little indentations there for you to cut them off. I don't know why the hell you would do that. This is a pretty mad sneaker anyways. And if you just cut it off, it, it looks stupid with the long ass tongue too. I don't know why you would do it. I beat around shoe. I don't really keep any of my shoes in pristine condition. Just because I believe that you should wear your shoes, even even if you have the Travis Scott one, uh, Nike Air Yeezy twos, wear them. That's what they were made for. All right. So next up, we got the 2014 Air Jordan Six Carmines. I only just recently found out that there's a little button there, so you can actually do your shoes up. But I always do them with a little loose kind of look. I actually almost sold these because they're size 12. I can never wear them, and these ones. They're sixes, so they'll also fit big, and they're, and they're size 12 as well. 
So they're kind of just like boots on me, like my foot be flopping around in these. They're cool. I really do like the colorway, but they're so big on me, I can't even wear them that much. I still try to do it, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I still like them a lot. For a 2014 release, they're still pretty good condition. They only just got a little bit of yellowing. I got them probably about like two years ago, and like they were still blue. I see blue at the bottom. They're pretty nice, but I don't know if I can ever really wear them again. So next up, they got the Jordan 3s. I can't remember if these ones are the cool purples or the next one the cool purples. These are my first Jordan 3. I love these ones a lot. You can see I wore them a lot, and as, especially with the heel drag there. Not a lot of toe drag though, but with the heel drag, you can tell I've worn them a lot. Like the 3s are probably my favorite Jordan model out there. They're nice for what? Low to mid top. They're nice, they're comfortable. They look all right. They're pretty minimalistic, and I love elephant print. I don't know why. Jump in at the back. Wish it was a Nike logo, but it's whatever. And then these reject shop boxes be breaking easily, man. All right, so maybe these ones are the core purples. I think both of them are named the core purples. These ones are my favorite ones out of both of them, actually. I think I like this one a little bit more because they are white. Uh, not as much heel drag there, as well as toe drag. These ones are really nice. I honestly be wearing these ones the most out of anything. Once again, jump out of the back. Nothing crazy. Next, we got the 2021 Air Jordan 13 Flints. I remember when I was little, we went to Melbourne one time. I didn't. I knew nothing about Jordans. All I knew is that I wanted a pair of them. This was like, this was before the Jordan craze started. Like, when when was I little? Probably, yeah, probably about 2015. I, I wanted a pair of Jordans. And I remember we walked into the Jordan store in Melbourne, like the really big uh, store in Melbourne. I forgot the name of it. And they had these sitting there. I was like, Mom, can I please get these? My dad was down to get them for me. But my mom, she was like, nah, they're too expensive. So I was like, all right, whatever. And I went and got some bum ass Nikes and thought that was dope. I finally got these seven years later. And now I can say I finally have them. These will always hold a special place in my heart. Because these were the first ever Jordans I ever wanted. I got the True Blue Air Jordan 13. So you have seen me unbox these on this channel. These ones are also really nice. I just love the Jordan 13 model. Only the highs, not the mids or the lows, or whatever. Not the mids or the lows. I can't remember which one they are. The one with the little metallic jump in. Those ones are stupid. These ones are really nice. I like them, nice leather, it's whatever, it's just another Jordan 13, they were sitting on full for a little bit, so I just want to cop them. So if you live in Australia, there's one particular model or shoe you gotta buy. This is the Australian National Shoe, every Aussie has them. If you don't have them, are you even an Aussie? It is obviously the Nike Air Max TN, I got the Wolf Grey, the Deadpools or the Dracula's whichever one. And the Tiffany's, if you live in Australia, you gotta have at least one pair. I just got three. I'm probably gonna get more soon. All three of these are dope. And it, come on, if you have, if you live in Australia, you have to get one, at least one. Just the all whites or the all blacks, or whatever. Walk into your local Foot Locker, just get one of these. So that's a little quick, easy video. I know some of you guys have been asking to just see all my shoes. That's pretty much all of them. I got a couple outside, but they're just beaters. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and we got a good series coming up. If you like eating, might enjoy it. Boom. As of now, there will be no more gym videos. I, I enjoyed making them, but as of, I, I still enjoy going to the gym. I still go six days a week. I still track my calories. I still do all that jazz. But as of content creating, I prefer doing this kind of stuff. So yeah, so no more gym, no more gym videos. Ah, uh, that's pretty much it.